Hi there, my name's uh, Lewis Brown, I'm 20 years old. This is my third year on the MA Duke course, and as you can see, I am a guy. Uh, and on the MA Duke course, that is not a thing that happens very often. The course is 120 people, and I think out of our 120, we've got about eight guys. Um, so every class you'll be in, there's a very, very good chance you'll be the only guy in that class. And when I was in first year, I did find that very, very daunting. It can be dead nervous, but in a room with 15 other girls and the teacher, she's a woman as well. So thinking about why did I join the course, um, I had a lot of young thoughts in primary six. I go, oh, I'd love to be a primary teacher. Um, I also do a lot of musical theatre, which does really help if you are a primary teacher. I'll add. So get your guitar out and try and learn some songs. Um, I had a teacher called Mr Johnston, and he was the best teacher I had throughout the whole of primary. And I would argue it's because he was a guy as well. So I had a lot to learn from him. It was the first time I'd ever interacted with a male teacher. And I learned so much, not only from him as a pupil, but now as I'm becoming a teacher, all the different things he'd done in the class, all of his methods, I really found that dead insightful. Being a guy and a primary teacher probably isn't the most stereotypical thing they are. Primary teachers are primarily women. When I would say to teachers in high school, oh, I want to be a teacher. I'd go, Why would you want to do that? There's a big difference, I feel, with high school teaching, primary school teaching, teachers always put up on me. Primary school teachers, they did always say, no, it's girls that do that. You want to be a high school teacher, teach a subject. But it's primary school teaching is so good because primary school teaching is where you put them on the path to their future. You're that first step. As good as nursery as high school is, primary school is really where kids learn who they are. First to fourth year in your MA Duke, it's great because first and second year, you learn about all the theory behind primary teaching, so why the kids learn some ways. And then in kind of third and fourth year, when your placement sits get a wee bit more intense, especially in fourth year, you then let's start to learn about, right, all that theory I've been learning, you then put it into practice. And that can be quite daunting. That's one thing I've really found. It's really about finding that connection and not focusing too much on the theory, because at the end of the day, the kids do not care what kind of way they're learning. They want to learn the best and they want to learn the most. And it's really important that you then find that balance to go, this is the way I'm teaching the kids and this is how I'm going to make it engaging. Um, I think this is where you'll really notice that you're a guy because kids do not hold back about what they think. If they enjoy the fact they're working with a guy, they'll let you know and they will let you know. And they, they'll notice the difference. A lot of boys will come through primary school, they'll get to primary seven, you might be their first guy teacher. And all these things that you need to remember. So it's how can you be not only their teacher, everything you do, they learn from. It's not just the lessons you teach your mannerisms, your actions, the way you talk to them, everything is learned. I once had a pupil tell me that, oh, sir, I loved that lesson. And I went, oh, that's great, that's great. And he says, no, no, like, the lesson was good, but I enjoy you teaching it. I says, what do you mean? Like, was it the way I taught it? Is that good? And he went, no, you're a guy. I says, I've never had a guy teacher, that's really good. It's things like that that really affirm your faith on why you're on this course. It makes you feel really confident. And I can guarantee there'll be at least one child that says it to you. Being stressed about lesson plans is the biggest advice I can give you. They are very stressful. There's a lot of them you need to do, but they really do help you. The more uh, lesson plans you do, the better you feel when you walk out of a classroom in third and fourth year, because you've done the theory and you've learned about all these lesson plans in your portfolios. And it's important to remember, you might have a favourite subject. You had a favourite subject in primary. Everyone did. Mine was probably PE. And when you go into primary school, you'll love teaching that on placement. But what's really important to think about, see that subject you didn't enjoy, mine was maths. I was terrified to go to maths class sometimes. If you remember how scared you felt when in your class, you know how those pupils would feel. So it's these kind of ideas you need to remember. This is how I felt, so I really want to help these kids so they don't feel like that. You've got the option to do your master's and not do your master's. And that, I, I've made, taken the decision I'm going to do my master's when it comes to fifth year. There is really two paths you can take. You can finish in fourth year and go off and teach or you can stay on and do your master's. In fourth year, you do a lot of the way work you would do in fifth year. So it's important that you realise you're already kind of there in some points. When you think about doing fifth year, it's not, oh, I'm going to do my master's. It's very much, I've done quite a bit of it, so I'm ready for it now. And for people that want to leave in fourth year, that's perfectly reasonable because you have got the positives of that's you out, you're learning, you're earning as well. You've got your probation and everything. But I find if you've been teaching for 10 years, let's say, and you want to go back and do your master's, that's going to be quite hard. To get. I know I'd find it really hard to get back in the swing of it. The reason I'm going to stay on as well is for future prospects in my development as a teacher, where I can be a teacher for X amount of years if I do the master. If I want to progress on and do, yeah, I want to be a deputy head teacher, a 
pastoral care teacher, these kind of things, a head teacher, you have got that option with the masters. It makes it certainly you can make it as a head teacher without a masters, but it makes it very much easier to get there with it. I think remember about primary teaching and the image course is it's not a course you can just come in and think, oh, I might want to do that. If you've not got your full heart in teaching, I don't know how much I'd recommend that course for you. It's really important to think, am I doing this because I want to? Is this the job you know you want to do? Have you picked this course because you didn't know what to do in high school? And people say, oh, you work well with kids. It's important to know when you're in that classroom why you're there. I'm in that classroom to help children and improve their lives and let them know what they want to do with their lives. As a guy, how does it feel to be there? How does it feel to be in a staff room with 25 women and you're the only guy? How are you going to deal with that? If you know why you want to be there, then your gender doesn't matter. It's really important to think, I want to be a teacher because I can help people. I want to be a teacher because I, I feel inspirational. I want to help the next generation the way I was helped.